Now to Quicken Loans Arena CEO Lynn Komorowski uh, with me uh, to react to these protests outside of the arena and, and just how the city of Cleveland uh, has embraced this, uh, this convention. Uh, Lynn, can, first of all, congratulations uh, on scoring this event. It's a, it's a big time event at the right place at the right time. What do you make of how things have gone so far? You know, uh, Charles, thank you for asking, and it's been absolutely spectacular. I think all the efforts that our community has put forth to be able to change the dialogue on Cleveland on a national and international scale and showcase the city, the renovations are taking place. The weather's been terrific. Uh, people are having a great time. Uh, I think they're experiencing our Midwestern nice as well, and that all together with a very walkable downtown uh, and all these great assets connected together. It's been a tremendous experience so far, and we're looking for a strong close through tomorrow with the uh, culmination of the convention on Thursday. And what do you, I mean, of course, you guys are flying high anyway after the, uh, the, the winning the NBA championship, which, uh, you know, the first time any team has come down, come back from that so, sort of, uh, uh, you know, decisive margin, right? And uh, the emotions, the enthusiasm, do you think that, that, that Cleveland now will be able to carry this on and, and, and even reap even greater rewards once the convention is over and between now and the next basketball season? Absolutely. I think, you know, first of all, I'm here with my friend Larry, which is uh, the Larry O'Brien Trophy for uh, the <laughs> championship. And we, we obviously had a, a, a black cloud hanging over Cleveland, even though all these ter terrific things have been happening with more people living downtown, more investment ever in our region than ever before, more people visiting Cleveland. You know, the fact there was that 52-year black cloud hanging over Cleveland and breaking the curse, and, and, and that has really if you want to say lifted the morale and spirits for Cleveland to really realize its full potential here. And it's the one thing, that if the, I, I dare say, the national media had rolled out every year, the, the shot, the drive, the fumble, that, that video reel, that is gone, dead, and buried. And even since then, the Indians have gone on a terrific run and are being talked about as a World, uh, World Series participant uh, prospectively here, too. So people are looking forward in Cleveland, here with the RNC, again, the second largest media event in the world, showcasing the best that Cleveland has to offer. And, yes, it will be something I think will be a seminal change for our community and how people think about right. it, think of us nationally and internationally as well. Well, congratulations. You're a class act. It's a class town, and uh, you guys deserve it. Well, exactly. Thank okay. you. Thanks very much, and uh, thanks for all that uh, you're doing to support the cause here. You got it. You got it.